to generate or create uh, your own thesis statement. So I'll walk you through uh, what I like to do uh, when I'm writing uh, and having been asked to you know, come up with my own uh, essay topic. Um, so I'll, we're going to use the example of the things we carried uh, or the things they carried by Tim O'Brien as our go-to text and uh, we'll walk through some strategies uh, and some tips that are going to help you uh, when a time comes that you're going to be asked to uh, write your own essay, so to come up with your own essay topic. Okay, so first things, uh, you can start brainstorming. So by brainstorming, I just mean uh, get some scrap piece of paper and uh, if you have a topic set for you, so in this case we're doing the things they carried. Uh, so if you're going to write about this book, uh, just start jotting down words, notes. Um, you could reread your lecture notes, uh, rewatch the lectures, uh, that might help you. Uh, but really you just need to start uh, getting some ideas down there and uh, thinking about uh, what are the main uh, themes or ideas that are represented in this book. Uh, so you might have uh, a list of five themes, uh, you might have a list of ten, you might only have one or two, uh, but the idea here is not to sort of narrow anything down yet, just get your ideas onto a scrap piece of paper. So once you start brainstorming, I like to sort of uh, use a, a mind map or a chart, uh, something that sort of organizes my thoughts and I can so sort of see them visually. Uh, so some of us are sort of visual learners and we need to like draw things out or chart things out or list things. So depending on how you uh, personally like to organize your life, are you one of those people who like has a list, a to-do list? Uh, or are you somebody who needs to see it visually or map it out or uh, create a sort of visual board uh, of how they plan things out? Uh, so depending on just your the way you personally organize, um, you know, use a visual or if you can just write it down in a clear outline, uh, this is where you sort of start generating and narrowing things down. So if we were starting with... Uh, the book, the things they carried, and I've been asked to write a paper on it, and that's all my prof has told me. Um, so write anything you want based on this uh, short story or this novel. Uh, I would have probably start with some themes or motifs. So themes are the overarching um, insights or ideas that are represented. Motifs are like the little details uh, that are put forth by the author. Um, so if I was just working with themes, I could kind of try to create a chart uh, of narrow down some themes that I remember uh, the class talked about uh, while we were reading that book. Uh, so here I have the things they carried well. Maybe I remember uh, there being uh, examples of trauma in that book and trauma was a theme that we talked about uh, in relation to some of the characters um, with Tim O'Brien or with uh, Henry Boker uh, or Jimmy Cross. Uh, so I already have a couple of examples that I can think of that would fit uh, with the theme of trauma. Another theme, masculinity, that's been sort of an ongoing theme um, or will be an ongoing theme in the class. Uh, I remember distinctly in, you know, the short story, The Things They Carry, that uh, Jimmy Cross and those soldiers were sort of struggling, or uh, they talked about the postures of masculinity and how uh, they all sort of had to uphold a kind of um, the burden of being manly or being macho when faced with death. Uh, so that thing might be, a theme might be interesting, and I could elaborate on that. Uh, I could sort of narrow down those further, so if I was interested in masculinity, maybe I wanted to focus more so or more narrowly on being a soldier. How does that relate to being uh, masculine or uh, performing one's masculinity? 
Uh, if I was interested in trauma, I could break that subject up into sort of subtopics. So if I'm talking about trauma, I'm also talking about witnessing death, experiencing death, uh, killing somebody. Uh, so for Tim O'Brien, uh, he kills somebody, and this will be something traumatic in his life. Some of the other characters deal with sort of post-traumatic stress disorder, so that could be a topic. Uh, so we'll, I would just start brainstorming these kind of themes or ideas and uh, see where that takes you. So once you have one of those themes that you're sort of uh, interested in and you want to uh, pick that as maybe your topic, uh, start narrowing it down further. So start breaking apart one single theme into more specific subtopics. So if I picked the theme of being a soldier, so this is what I decided I want to write about. Uh, so the things they carried, the theme is being a soldier, what are my subtopics? So what could I narrow my main points in my essay to be? Uh, so I came up with three. So if being a soldier to me means, you know, a sense of duty or obligation, uh, you have to play the part of being a soldier. So it comes with a lot of responsibilities. Uh, being a soldier to me also means uh, facing death, um, watching other people die, and then experiencing um, the fear of dying yourself. Uh, so all of that is very important. Um, and then the third point, uh, I also think, you know, proving one's manhood is part of this conversation that we've been having uh, about being a soldier. So I came up with three points. You might come up with two of those. You might come up with four of those. Uh, so just try to break down your main topic into uh, subtopics. So more narrow uh, subtopics within your essay. And then if you're a list person, it's always a good idea to start your outline uh, with sp specific examples. So if I narrowed my topic of being a soldier down already, so I have duty, proving one's manhood, and facing death, now I need specific examples. Uh, so even before I start writing, I'm thinking ahead of what possible evidence uh, from the text I could use as supporting details for each of my main points. So I know I want to write a, a paragraph about how being a soldier means you have to follow, uh, you're obligated to do your duty. Um, so the example that pops in my mind is how Jimmy Cross had to um, sacrifice sort of his love of Martha for uh, his duty to lead his men. So as first lieutenant, he was um, sort of forced to follow his duty. Second point, proving one's manhood. Uh, so the specific examples, I just remember in one of the stories uh, that the men were feared, that they feared of being humiliated or being seen as cowards. Uh, so they had to sort of take on this outward toughness. Uh, so I thought that would be an, a good example. So that was a detail from uh, the short story, The Things They Carried. And then Facing Death, well, there's a lot of examples in the book of uh, where characters face death. Uh, but maybe I want to limit it to my discussion of Jimmy Cross and say, well, for him, the death of Ted Lavender was something that changed him. Uh, so that's part of... Uh, that's more a specific example that I remember from the book that I could use in my essay. Um, so we have three specific examples. So you could chart this out in a different way. So you could start thinking of three details, three main points, supporting details, so specific uh, examples from uh, the book. Or, and uh, again, view it as a kind of um, connecting uh, outline. So using a template like this would also be helpful uh, for some people. So if you like to visually chart out your essay first, it's always a good idea to do that. Uh, think of your examples and, uh, you know, use evidence from the text uh, within your main points. And then eventually you'll have a working thesis statement. So 
Uh, in this example, we're doing what we talked about. So we have the author's for full, full uh, first and last name. We have the genre. Uh, we're talking specifically about one of the short stories. So I identify the title. And then I'm giving my main points as well. So this is actually two sentences connected with a semicolon. Uh, so this is all my thesis. So in Tim O'Brien's short story, The Things They Carried, he represents the burdens of being a soldier. Specifically, O'Brien illustrates how a sense of duty, the pressures of masculinity, and the realities of death are traumatizing to the young men who fought in the Vietnam War. So I'm sort of piecing things together. I have my main points that we already listed. So I want to talk about duty. A sense of duty, I want to talk about masculinity, and I want to talk about death, uh, and I have to link all those things together. So my main points are stated clearly in my thesis, and I've included all the information that I need. So uh, this is a good starting uh, to see your sort of thesis, your essay take shape, um, starting from brainstorming all the way to uh, narrowing down your specific thesis statement. So when it's up to you, I would say uh, start drafting early, uh, chart things out, create lists and visuals, um, generate examples, try to find evidence, uh, narrow your thesis. Uh, you could, you know, pick a single thing. So sometimes we you know, maybe this is too much to handle in one essay. Maybe I just want to look at one of these things um, and list, you know, three examples of that. So depending on the length of your essay, really consider the, the constraints that you have uh, in meeting the word count. Uh, can you adequately um, cover all these topics in one essay or should you narrow it down further? Uh, so these are decisions you can make uh, in your revisions. And uh, just start from scratch. So you just start with the themes, ideas, and keep narrowing it down until you have a strong thesis statement. Last tip for writing your thesis statement. If you are really stuck and you can't think of uh, anything to write about, uh, I always tell my students to look at uh, what motivates a character to do a certain action. And uh, the word because is another good tip. So uh, just by adding the word because, uh, it sort of leads you to think more critically about the reasons why uh, a character accomplishes or uh, enacts a certain behavior. Uh, so for example, uh, I have three uh, possible thesis or starts of a thesis statement uh, in relation to Tim O'Brien's novel. Uh, so Jimmy Cross burns the photos of Martha because, and here you just have to sort of plug in your own interpretation. Um, another one, Tim O'Brien writes about traumatic war events because, uh, so again, you would just be explaining your own opinion on uh, why he chooses to write about something uh, so traumatic. And the third one, Rat Kylie kills the water buffalo because, uh, and then you would again add your interpretation. So just by adding that word because, it sort of can lead you into uh, making an argumentative statement. Okay, so these are some tips that you can try uh, when you are ready to uh, write your own research paper.